Okay, good morning everyone. Um, it is Monday morning. It's about 10.30 and I thought since it is a dreary, rainy, miserable, cozy day, I thought it would be a perfect day to show you guys around my top five favorite bookstores here in New York City. So I wrote down a list and I figured we'd go to the mall today. I'd show you a little bit around, tell you why I like them all so much. And it would just be a cozy little rainy book shopping day. Now this video I am just keeping for Manhattan. I am probably going to do a second version of this for Brooklyn and my favorite bookstores in Brooklyn. If I tried to include all of my favorite bookstores in New York, this would be a very long video. So for today we are just doing Manhattan, but give a like and comment down below if you want to see a Brooklyn version. All right, coming in at number five, we have the Housing Works used bookstore. <gasps> Guys, we've already come into a bit of a, uh, come into a bit of a roadblock. So my number five choice Housing Works bookstore and cafe is closed because of COVID. That sucks. The reason I love Housing Works so much is that all of the books are donated, all of the staff are volunteers, and so 100% of the proceeds go to the Housing Works nonprofit. Housing Works is a nonprofit charity that fights to end homelessness and AIDS here in the city. It is a wonderful foundation and it's such a cute bookstore that I would love to just go there even if I didn't know what they were doing, so I think it's a really wonderful bookstore. I wish we could go today. It's tragic that it's closed, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, so I'll insert some pictures or some footage to give you a little, give you the vibe, but I highly recommend to come and donate your books there and buy your books there because it's for a great cause. So we love to see it. coming in at number four this may be a controversial spot but number four is the strand bookstore yes i know this is like everyone's favorite bookstore in new york it is a giant independent bookstore with both new and used books it's super cute it's very popular they have a very big variety of books the strand has four floors filled with books the top floor and the most unique floor in my opinion is the rare book section if you go up to the top they have a lot of cool unique rare old books that you can peruse and purchase. So the Strand Bookstore opened in 1928. In 1927, in the area of New York that used to be called Book Row, which is right below Union Square. And to this day, still most of my favorite bookstores and quite a few of the bookstores in the city are still around this area. The Strand is still one of the most popular bookstores in the city. They have 2.5 over 2.5 million books. So it is a book lover's paradise.
coming in in third. This might also be a shock to my fellow New Yorkers as this bookstore is more commonly known for being the public bathroom of Union Square. We have the Barnes & Noble Union Square! This is the prettiest Barnes & Noble in my opinion. It's also four stories filled with books. I actually like this Barnes & Noble more than The Strand. I know that's blasphemous, but I love this Barnes & Noble. The staff is super nice. It's really open, high ceilings, floor to ceiling books. Very well organized. They always have everything you want. They have a cute little cafe with Starbucks coffee and pastries and sandwiches and snacks, which we all love to snack. And when it's not COVID times, we love to have a coffee and walk around and per peruse the books. So I love this Barnes & Noble and yes, if you are in New York visiting, walking around the Union Square area and you need to go to the bathroom, there is a bathroom. But keep it nice people, let's not be disgusting, please. Right, now we're getting to the top two. Number two, my second favorite bookstore in all of New York is the Rizzoli Bookstore. The Rizzoli Bookstore is in the Flatiron area of New York. It is so stunning. It is such a cute bookstore. The Rizzoli Bookstore does have a great selection of books. I know they specify in foreign language books and illustrated books which is very cute and unique, but they usually have the most popular books, the New York Times bestsellers in stock. So it's a really cool place to peruse, to check out the stunning books, the cute little shop. <laughs> Here we are, the moment you've all been waiting for. And if you are a New Yorker, I like to think you know where this is going. But my number one favorite bookstore in all of New York City is McNally Jackson Books. Now you're also probably wondering, Kelly, which one? There are various locations of McNally Jackson Books, and I would say they're all up there in my first choice. But I also have a rank within a rank. McNally's number one, but within the McNally number one spot tier, there's many rankings. So since we are just doing Manhattan in this video, we have two McNally Jackson locations to rank. So of the two McNally Jackson bookstores in Manhattan, my second favorite is the Nolita location. This one is a stunning bookstore, of course. They have such a great variety of books. While this location has the same wonderful curation of books and variety and selection, it's just not as pretty as our number one choice. It's a little bit smaller, so there is a slightly smaller stock.
and now finally the number one of the number one the McNally Jackson Seaport bookstore now this bookstore just like its sister store in Nolita, this independent bookstore has a wonderful variety of books. Now at McNally Jackson Books, the books are obviously divided by genre, but within genre, we have them divided by geography. We have different continents of the author's origin, so it is very interesting and especially helpful if you're hoping to broaden your horizons to get to read authors from different nationalities. I know I'm working on de-Americanizing my bookshelf and that is super helpful at this bookstore. This McNally Jackson location is in the beautiful seaport area of the financial district of Lower Manhattan. It has stunning views out of the river and of the bridges down there which is so beautiful and a cute little cafe. If there's a cafe, I love it. What is a bookstore without a cute little cafe? And what really makes it my favorite, they have cozy chairs to sit and read books in. Now my most favorite way to spend a day off in New York is to walk along the river with a coffee in hand in my audiobook and walk down to the seaport into McNally Jackson and peruse for as long as they will let me without kicking me out. guys so I'm gonna grab you grab an umbrella and hop on the train down to go check out some of these bookstores so come on are you coming let's go she has like my daddy Vader shirt I feel like I'm always wearing Star Wars memorabilia in all my videos but it's on brand so what are we gonna do Shh. 